cycle for the sea turtles for incubation is 60 days. Depending on temperature, it could cut it down by a few or it could be extended a few. So nest that will be ready to go out, let's say the end of October, November, maybe 6 to 1 to 6 to 3 days on average. All right, sea turtles, as most of you may know, are actually listed as being, in as being endangered internationally. Here in the Caribbean, we have essentially four main species of sea turtles, but among them, there's one referred to as a hawksbill, which is critically endangered. They are the ones whose shells are, were most prized back in the days, where they would take them to make ornaments, you will have different decor for the homes, um, jewelry pieces for the ladies, all these stuff, especially in the 80s, early 90s. As a result of that, their population tremendously declined. Now, we're lucky today to have had turtles that we're going to be releasing to actually have been of that same species. We know from observation and checks that were done on the actual tracks when the turtles did come in. Because there's a difference. You have a turtle coming in that is almost like a crawl with alternate steps um, being the hawksbill. The other turtle we traditionally have in this area are green turtles. Which Anyone here knew Charlie? Charlie. All right, all right. <laughs> Charlie was a resident sea turtle that was here from 1951. Got injured by the hurricane and washed up in the spa era. Charlie was a green turtle. Now the pattern of the green turtle walk is parallel, so they'll pull themselves like this. So when you see the prints of their flippers in the ground, you'll see parallel prints versus the hawksbill, which you'll have alternate steps, more or less. All right, what we're gonna be doing today, well, the babies, we actually have, how we know exactly when they're nested, because there are so many natural predators that could really get to them, we do our best to identify the nest same day. We identify the nest location, and how I've been able to go to the exact spot is that we do a series of actual measurements so that we can find the exact location without doing any markers around. So yours truly knows where it is, but anyone else who come will basically mine the entire beach up just to find it. What we did to go in 56, 57 days, just to double check on the nesting to ensure that um, everything is okay, just by checking to see at the top level, the sands would have more or less been caved in once these turtles have hatched out. <coughs> now, here in Jamaica, we, there are a number of predators that will feed on baby turtles. There are human beings. Now, humans, through education, are easier to be sensitized and become more passionate about it. So education has been helping to cut down on the human loss factor. Now, we have birds. We can't educate those to stop feeding now, can we? <laughs> we have crabs and we have mongoose. So what we found two days ago is that actually a mongoose started to sense that turtles were coming out and our staff here who have been helping to monitor the nest because it's not just me. The entire couple's family actually loves just the thought of helping these babies. So we had our water sports staff who keep an eye every day actually saw a mongoose starting to dig away at the nest area right away got in, ran it away, and called me down. So we put in a little precautionary measure just to ensure that the nest is fine. So the first thing you're gonna see is not natural, don't worry, the turtle didn't lay this, but we have a piece of mesh material that we use to cover over. And luckily enough, when we came this morning, we actually saw where the mongoose was trying to get back at it. Our site is right over there. You see this little black material? That's what we actually had used to cover the nest. Now, on to my left, right here, this is a site on Saturday where we actually had the nest that went out before. From this nest on Saturday itself, we released 31 babies on Saturday evening. The total babies that left that nest was 113. The difference between the 31 and the 113 had left the evening before on their own. So they said, oh, God, we're ready to go and we're just going to take off, all right? So we had. 31 that all our guests that were here would have been able to see. And how we determined the numbers, we actually, after all the babies went, we actually took the shells and we did a tabulation. Now, a shell does not necessarily break perfectly in half. One half is always bigger than the other. So what we count, we count the section that has more than 50% or more. And each one of those is one. And the other little pieces would have gone with another shell. 
So essentially, we get it down now where it's gonna be like just one or two turtles out at most. So we're pretty much on target. Now, in terms of what we're gonna be doing this evening, as I said, the babies are pretty much ready to go. Um, naturally, <coughs> sea turtles, when they hatch, they'll go to the brightest light. So that's gonna be at the ocean. What we'll be doing, just removing the sand, removing the material from the top right here, and just, if they're not right at the top and ready to roll right away, just gonna take away that bit of sand from the upper section here. For us to get a, an idea or a pretty good measure of our actual numbers to see what goes out, we will actually take them, we'll put them in a, just in a little container for a short while. While they're there, you may be able to take a close look at them. Look, don't touch. And you'll see like little soldiers marching around. We'll just pass it around quickly so you'll be able to see. That is, has been proven to be good for them as well because just imagine when these babies leave sand now, it's all water all the way out. So the little exercise has been, has been shown with, by monitoring the turtles that go straight out or those that had a little bit of a walk before they did, that when they actually hit the water, they're more aggressive at their swimming. It's like getting the muscles warmed and toned. All right, so that's, that's essentially the first thing we're gonna be doing. And then thereafter, just where my good gentleman is right there and um, standing beside that bucket, we'll basically just take them down out there. We'll form a line on, the, on two sides going out towards the sea. Now a few rules to bear in mind. The turtles, they're not gonna be walking on a dead straight line but they'll be heading dead straight to sea. That's where the light is for them. So we have to be careful that we don't lift our feet and step on any to squash. That's gonna be most important. So you're gonna take your position, take your cameras, and get ready to capture, all right? They will head out on their own. I mean, the first time I saw it, well, you'll experience, I won't say much further about that. But just to ask, um, before we actually go any further, are there any questions? Okay, smart people, you want to see the action? <laughs> All right. Any part of an endangered species, and that includes the sea turtle, without permit. <laughs> All right, so you still have a little way. You don't have to roll the cameras just yet. Oh, you put a big piece on there. Don't push my dog. Sorry. No problem. No, you're fine. So the mongooses, they were really digging away a whole lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. There it is. There is actually... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look, you got one on his back! Yeah, that's fine. Oh. They're coming out. <laughs> All right, don't worry. <laughs> All right, there are... Wow! Oh my god. There's a bunch more. Alright, hold on. Oh my, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. No Everybody wake up. That's a baby. <laughs> this nest was laid pretty close to the surface. Um what happened is that this mother, you could, we could have seen you have to get your pictures fast because by the time they start to go off, we need to get a hold. This mother was a pretty young one, um a juvenile more or less. We suspected based on her size first that it could have been years. first or second <laughs> nesting. Aww. Now, in addition to that, um, we, she would have had anywhere between 80 to around 110 eggs on average. When they're really mature, the large ones, they actually lay up to 300 plus eggs at one time. Now, the sea turtles, they will lay in different sequences. We will have every 12, every 14 days, once they start within the, within the laying period, she'll come into lay four to five times within that season. So this picture, yeah, so this picture of fully mature turtle who is laying two, three hundred eggs and doing that four or five times every two weeks. Naturally, between 
between the predators I mentioned, the crabs, the birds, the mongoose, they could easily well get 10% of any nest before it reaches sea. Where all these babies going out on its own, I can tell you that in a very short time you'll have seen a lot of mongoose popping out. The birds will come down and so will a few crabs if they're nearby. So just by us putting our protection measures in place to assist them in getting out, we're totally increasing by at least 15 to 20 percent the amount that will reach to the ocean. The other advantage of doing it at this time of the evening is that a lot of the big fish would have still been far out. So the babies would get a chance to actually reach out into the seagrass and the reef area where they can hide before all the larger predators at sea would have come in. So that would have helped for another 10-15% at least. Yes. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What about this one? Where? Are they dead? Oh, oh. 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 Because put one on my Did you want You want come out, Y'all are ready to get into the water, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, there's ready and rearing to go. Yes, they are. Look at them little flappers just a flipping. Yeah, what I'm saying is that it depends a lot on the size of the mother and the size of the the condition of the area themselves where they were actually laid. Sometimes if it's very hard, you don't find that they'll go very deep. And when they tend to be smaller. How big do they get? The turtles? Mm -hmm. Huge. <laughs> Real big. You can have up to what would be the equivalent of a meter um, from the tip of the shell down or more. From the tip of the shell through to the back. A lot of this nest had actually squirt. When they're moving? Yeah. When it's moving. Oh, there's another little guy. Yeah. You made it. Yeah. Did you go ahead and start flipping? It's like digging the rubble of an earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> Survivors. <laughs> an indication of as to the fact that you may be getting close to the bottom. I noticed we took a lot out but not that many shells. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with those? You saying bury them back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bury you them. have a funeral too? <laughs> we have the saxophone players. Hey. We can play yeah. yeah, you're right, you know. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Oh, there you go. There's a survivor. I guess it's about 100. Right, you know, let's give a prize. Whoever can guess it gets a prize. That's a good <laughs> How long can they live in the sand for? Um, like down here? Mm -hmm. In terms of from what stage? Like from when they hatch to uh, they'll out. generally they'll generally take um, up to three days. Sometimes on their own under there, they'll generally take up to three days to just crawl and reach up to the surface oh, wow. from the time that they have hatched because. They go through a stage where when they get separated from the egg sac, from the egg sac, it actually heals. It actually has to heal first before 
they actually um, crawl themselves out. So if it didn't come today, what would have happened? They would have gone out. They would have gone out um, in, in the night. So how do you know exactly which day? The six. The average is around 60 or so. It has been 58, 59 days now okay. um, since they did. Plus, yeah, plus the fact that, well, these, the babies that were there, that, um, like those that had spoiled, could have been what the mongoose actually had scented. Oh. Um, that in caused them to come down. Where about those that is? Yeah. Dead one, yeah. <laughs> This is an example of, of one of the eggs in its full stage, but this one here wasn't fertilized. That's why I noticed it didn't hatch or anything. It's still just, just an egg, as it is. Um, this egg, we wouldn't necessarily want to have it broken at this location now because it may have a very, very unpleasant odor. Break it. Okay, so we're pretty much. Sorry. Is it read the bed on? I'm going to make sure everybody makes it. Come on, boys, go. Okay. Sorry, wait. It's the girls. Oh, Sammy. Sammy. Yeah. Oops. We're ready to go. Yeah. 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 You say again, if they come this way, what do we do? Just going the wrong way. How about that? They're going to find the wrong way. There you go. <laughs> Go, go, go. There you go. Don't step back. I got one. Uh, see a light over here. Oh, no. like yeah. <laughs> Come on, you can make it.
Thank you.